Piper Madison is a triple threat. She's an award-winning singer, songwriter, and actress. The Louisville native has just released her second album called How Do I Love? You can catch her concert tonight in downtown Lexington. The short story is I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky, but when I was nine, my sister and I wanted to do acting and my parents were super supportive. So as a family, we all moved out to Los Angeles to do an acting camp and my sister and I ended up getting an agent from there. So we made a slow, like a gradual move to LA and we lived there for the past 10 years doing acting and then I picked up music along the way. And music's always been a big part of our family. So I started songwriting when I was 12 and that really made me realize that music is something I'm really passionate about. And I started recording my own music. My dad was interning at a music studio and he learned how to produce and taught me everything he knew. And in November, during the pandemic, we decided to come back to Louisville to be closer to family but we have a home studio so i was able to keep on recording my music and that's where i'm at i had my second album finish up this past year and it just released on october 5th piper what is it like being back in kentucky being back in the bluegrass state i absolutely love it it's so peaceful here i love being close to nature and i've gotten to explore the area a lot more than I have been able to before because we were always going back and forth. But even when we lived in LA, we would come back in the summers and it's so much fun to spend time here. People may remember you from the Nickelodeon show, 100 Things to Do Before High School. What was that experience like? I'm so grateful for that experience. I met so many people who were passionate about what they do and it was an awesome environment to learn in and just to be a part of. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. <laughs> you have just released a new album. How would you describe your music? What is your inspiration? Well, I have a lot of inspirations. When I was younger, I grew up on Alison Krauss and Dolly Parton and the Judds. So I have this bluegrass foundation. But as I got older, I started getting into Sade and Amy Winehouse and Sia. So I have this eclectic influence group that I think drives the soulful jazziness of my music. So what's next for you? Are you working on any new projects? I've spent the last two years on this album, recording and producing and editing and just getting everything ready for this release. So everything that's going on right now is my entire focus, but I've got a lot of stuff coming up like performance wise and the future is unwritten, truly. <laughs> Will we have any chances to see you perform here in Kentucky? I'm actually performing in Lexington tonight at Poor Decisions at 6 p.m. So you have accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. <laughs> what advice would you have for other young people who dream of being a singer, songwriter, actor? Because you have done a lot of different things. Honestly, I think the thing that's made the biggest difference for me is getting to know myself on a really deep level and practicing self-love every day. Because once I started truly shifting my perspective to see my worth, that's when everything in my external life changed too. I think you, I think we live in an inside out world.
She's so talented. Piper will be performing tonight at Poor Decisions at 233 East Main Street in downtown Lexington. The show starts at 6 p.m. You can keep up with Piper on her website, pipermadison.com.